Hey you guys, um, we're back with another look at video, and I, t um, I don't even know what word I'm looking for right now. I will try and keep up with these, I have tons and tons of games, I've got about 40 odd games in my backlog to do, to take a look at with you guys, and this one is called Sundered, and I'm going to try and turn it down on my headset because it's super loud. Um, like I say, my voice in these videos may sound a bit weird, I'm using a different headset, a different mic all over again. Um, this is the PlayStation mic, actually. And uh, we're going to plug in the controller because this is coming out on PS4, so it should support some controller. This is the Alpha version, and uh, well, let's take a look. I've not played it, so this will be a first. Well, it's not first, but you know what I mean. It's the first experience for me on this game. Sundered. Let's press new game. And broadcasting is enabled. Your friends can join you broadcast at any time. Ugh. Yes, trying to keep up with videos is proving difficult at the moment. What with life things and my moods being uh, either really good or really bad. But. I thought I'd do some today whilst I had the time, and so I think I've done quite a few. And there is definitely more to come with the look at videos. I don't know they don't get many views, but I know you guys. Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to give you guys my first look, and obviously your first look if you haven't seen it already, because uh, some of these games, these Steam games, can be terrible, and some of them can be pretty good. But this one is definitely releasing on. Uh, multi-platform on consoles as well as on PC and well no introduction at all just chuck us straight in there why not wow okay 2d platforming game already in my mind let's take a look at what we can do gorgeous art style really really nice the uh, controller works perfectly this is what I'm using right now PS4 controller and the trap tree Spend your shards to improve abilities. Any unspent shards will be lost when leaving the hub. Well, that sounds pretty harsh. Looks like I don't even have any. I don't even have any. Damn you. Uh, the map on the bottom right is just blue, and I'm not entirely sure whether it's supposed to have any color in it whatsoever. It also looks like... This is the only section I can actually go into right now. What the hell? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. What happens if I press on this? If I press circle, I back out. If I press square, triangle, X. That costs 35, which I don't have. Okay. This is going to be one of them games where I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's going to really frustrate me. And my freaking thing keeps going off. God damn it. Stop ruining my recording. I don't know what Switch are doing, guys. <laughs> this is just typical of me. Whoa! The hell is that? Oh, nice! It doesn't look like an upgrade any ability right now. Select a perk. At least I would, but there isn't any. What am I supposed to be doing? Hang on, is there a doorway over here? Looks like there's an exit. Ah, <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Well, the art style is very good. I love the way his cape flows. I love the way he moves. Very, very nice. Uh, looks like we're going to be a bit of platforming here. Hopefully some enemies. Can we, can we like, climb up ledges or do we have to actually jump? 
We can double jump. Oh! Get it back here, you little bitch. What the fuck, man? It's some crazy stuff. Wow. Combat's pretty fluid. Very, very nice. Let's hope those enemies don't just respawn around them over time. We'll be alright. I like the way the smoke seeps out of stuff. And the way the sword sounds as well is really freaking cool. Man, it's a bit jerky though. It is in the sample state though, I guess. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing. No story though, which is a bit strange. I'm guessing they will add that at some point. But nothing yet. Maybe there will be some in a little bit. Maybe we'll find out a bit more about who this guy is. And uh, what the hell he is doing here. Uh, I think the bottom left is your health bar, it doesn't look like it's regenerating at all. The animations are just really, really quite, quite something, to be honest with you. Do we actually get health from this? I don't know. What the fuck? We've got to time this just right. I'm guessing. Maybe we've got to turn the flow off. 43. These are just crystals. Fucking hell, man. Enemies galore right now. <laughs> That's nice, though. That gun is sweet. Jesus Christ! This is some crazy ass shit right now. Boom! Is this supposed to happen? Like, are you supposed to be totally overblown by enemies within the first two minutes of playing the game? That just endlessly respawn? Go, go, go! Are you supposed to run from them? Ah, your health does sort of recharge. Jesus Christ, these things! <laughs> they just follow you everywhere. I'm here! Alright, that stuff damages you. Your health does regen. Uh, in the bottom, you can see you only have a small bar. I guess that's to begin with. I'm guessing the full range of that bar can be utilized. Okay, let's just keep heading up because that seems to be the best bet right now. Don't regenerate the bullets for your gun, though. Uh, you're out of ammo, so you only get a limited amount. I guess you have to find more. What's this? Corrupted treasure. Animations, though, really freaking nice. And it's really quick as well. Some of these games I've played on the Steam Store, the animations have been absolutely bollocks. I mean, we should ex we should sort of uh, expect this because these guys are a pretty well-known developer. Um, they've made some great games in the past, I believe. Or maybe this is their first game. I don't know. I'm pretty sure these guys have made games before. If they haven't, then I'm sorry, I'm wrong. But either way, it's done really, really nicely, and uh, kudos to you guys for doing. I mean, the enemy variety is so far is pretty awesome, and oh shit! Okay, what happens when you die? Please say there's a checkpoint system in place. Just like some of these other hardcore ones, there will be zero checkpoint system. Nope. There's no 
the checkpoint system. Although we do have 670. So we're gonna be able to upgrade stuff now. Yeah. There we are. Right, I get what this gameplay is gonna be. This is gonna be like one of those games where everything is different, I guess, each time we go in. Is that gonna be the case? Is it gonna look identical or is it gonna be different? If it's gonna be the same, then uh, quite possibly the idea is to get to the end without dying. Uh, when you die, it looks like you do get your ammo back um, five rounds to be exact. And I'm guessing this is only to be used in an emergency. I'm not sure if the level is different. To be quite frank, I think it is. It looks different. Very nice though, very nice. I'm loving the animations. I'm loving the art style as well, to be honest. Beautiful, it looks like everything's hand drawn. I love it when games do this. And the, the actual uh, platforming, while it looks difficult from where you're sat, it's actually really fluid, it's just I'm bad at it. I haven't played a platforming game like this in a while, or at least uh, all the way through in a while. Usually I lose interest in some of these games just due to the poor production values but to me it looks like uh, it looks like each time you go into this it's it's different it's a different world maybe it's procedurally or maybe it's just generated on the fly like enemies are of an abundance whoa man this guy's got to seriously kick some ass come on keep moving keep moving keep moving I've got to regen some of the health no! No, don't freaking die on me! Jesus, fuck! That's bullshit, man. These guys are a pain in the ass. It's all about that precise platforming genre style. You can't double jump, but once you've jumped twice, uh, if you hold down jump though, you can get a little bit of uh, airage on here. Oh shit. Jesus fuck. See how far that regen goes? Yeah, it goes. Well, I don't know, it's about the same. That's it, that's how we roll people. Collecting those crystals for the upgrades, freaking right. Right. Enemies. The enemies are great, I really do love the way they look. It reminds me of those... It, it reminds me, I'm gonna say Japanese. Um, which is super awesome. Right, I'm wondering if this gun can do anything about the, this ray of... Nah. Right. I presume as soon as we go in here... Yeah, we're gonna be flowed back down. And the thing is, the game uh, does have the map on the bottom here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The game does have the map on the bottom, but it's not entirely descriptive. It doesn't give you any objectives as such. So as you can see, uh, so far, it's actually a really fast-paced, quite frantic, very good-looking game. Uh, it's called Sundered, and uh, this is the alpha preview I'm guessing uh, once we get to full release we may have some backstory on this guy uh, find out why he or she is here um, and hopefully learn more about the lore of this world 
but so far it's looking so good and I am pretty damn impressed. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. And if you can, please do subscribe guys because it really does help me out. And not only that, it gives me the reason to keep creating content like this. And even if they're only short videos, just to show you roughly what games, what these games that come out on Steam and various other consoles are about. And also there are more reviews and uh, various different videos on other little devices to look forward to as well. So I hope to see you soon, and I'm sure I will with another one. Cheers.